This is the video on pictures. There are two actions that use pictures. The first action I'll show is the one PICT. I'll click on it. The PICT action can get a given picture if P is less than 2000. That's the control register. Or it can crop a canvas picture and then the value of P must be greater than or equal to 2000. It can cut a picture out of any canvas. You give it what picture number you want, how tall it is, how wide it is, and the upper left hand corner of the crop rectangle. Another action that is used is the show action. I'll click on show. Show will show a picture. P is where the number of the picture is. R show what rotation. You can rotate the picture. You can determine how tall it is, how wide it is, and when you show it you need to give the center of the picture. The reason you might run PICT and call the picture prior to showing it if it takes a while to load the picture. Sometimes if you go right to showing the picture it may take too long and it won't look correct because it's a while before the picture loads. Now I'm going to go to where the given pictures are. In this brown box you'll see at the bottom it says pictures. I'm going to click on pictures. I'm going to go to the first set of pictures and I'm going to select one of the pictures. I'll select this one. Here it blows the picture up. Tells you it's picture 20. You see behind the picture is white. That is the transparent color. Notice when the picture was shown here you don't see the white behind it because this white color is transparent. So if you would say PICT action and say 20 it would load this picture into memory later on you could say show and have P the control register value 20 and it would show this where you specify it to be shown often you can do a show directly and just tell it to show this picture if it's not very big but if it takes a while to load you should load it with the PICT action and then later on you show to display it. If you want to see what's behind <laughs> the blown up picture you can go over here and click on drop the picture. Notice down here there's some textures you could use one of these textures to fill the entire screen. Remember, you can say how wide you want it to be and how tall you want it to be. So you could fill the entire screen with one of these textures. Now we'll go to set two. Well, set two has all these nice faces. You could pick one of them it'll tell you that that's picture 201. So you would set P, the control register, to 201. All right, we'll go to set 3 and we'll drop that picture. Well, set 3 has in it frames. You can use these frames to frame around any pattern you want. Notice the center is transparent. You see, you see right through the frame and see the background. And you can change how wide they are and how tall they are.
to fit around any pattern you want. Let's go to number four. Here are some backgrounds. Let's click on one of the backgrounds. Notice a background doesn't have any transparent parts. It'll fill out the entire background, which is what you want a background to do. It's unlike these, where it just shows this bush and everything around it's transparent. These can all be used as a total background. Alright, that's the video on pictures.